hey guys welcome back to another video uh, in today's video we'll be looking into how you can perform basic HDR operations in Python using OpenCV so HDR stands for high dynamic range so basically HDR is used in computational photography uh, for enhancing your images to a uh, greater exposure levels right so here in this uh, tutorial uh, we are having a bunch of uh, unexposed images as uh, like you can see over here so this is like a very dark image this is a real dark image uh, then this is a bit of uh, overexposed and uh, this is like really overexposed so a bunch of uh, improper images and we'll use this uh, images to uh, produce a good a decent image using OpenCV so basically this is the entire code for it over here there are multiple algorithms for a uh, multiple range of images for example uh, there are uh, multiple or uh, people who have contributed to this uh, for example over here we are looking into Reinhardt's method um, men Turks method and uh, uh, drag Drago's method right so a bunch of algorithms um, with some basic tuning with the images with the same concept of taking a uh, bunch of images and uh, producing a better image so over here we'll be looking into each one of these closely so this is the code for it. Uh, basic uh, prerequisite is OpenCV and Python. So you should be familiar with the basics of OpenCV, how things work with it. And uh, yep. And also NumPy. So this will this is the code. It will be available in the descriptions with the images. So do check this out. You can also try with try out to with your own images or uh, take multiple images similar images with uh, different uh, exposures and uh, place it over here so this is basically uh, a list of images which I've uh, kept it in the folder and basically this is something which performs the exposure time and converting into uh, float type 32 so uh, it is a mandatory uh, step which is given in the documentation of this procedure so you need to perform this this is for saving the file and converting those unexposed images into a decent single file which I'll show you in a minute and uh, this is a function which will run the algorithms or the functions which will produce a good image right and uh, CFR CRF sorry so CRF is something uh, which will uh, take those images and produce a radiance uh, radial uh, measurement of a certain standards that uh, the image should be so basically an HDR image should have some standards um, which will determine the uh, exposure limits of certain images in certain conditions uh, this basically will determine that and uh, this is one of those algorithms that is a Drago's algorithm um, we'll be looking into that first so let's run this so as you can see we have over here four images uh, all of them are uh, in a bad condition you can't just post it anywhere but to, with this specific algorithm that is Drago's algorithm we'll see a better image right so let's run this file and it is calculating the CRF and uh, it will produce an image so as you can see we have uh, we have an image that is 
drago.jpg right so let's see this image so this image looks better right compared to this all this image looks better this is due to that algorithm now let's clean this and let's try out another algorithm so let's try Reinhardt's method or the approach he uses so these are built in within OpenCV itself you don't have to use any other library or uh, or packages or something like that you just need to import it using cv2 dot that method right i'll put the official documentation of this in the video description do check that out and uh, let's run this file so going to the similar procedure and at last it will create an image so as you can see renhards.jpg so it is a pretty dark image compared to the dragos algorithm but it looks decent not overexposed not underexposed right so it looks decent right so all these algorithms have their own intensity of radial uh, measurements so based on that uh, intensity it will um, produce an output which differs from the previous one right now let's uh, uncomment this and run the mentux algorithm the names are pretty awkward to pronounce similarly going through that same procedure let's see what we have over here so here we have a image and this is a pretty soft image right a dark contrasty image the the first image of the dragos image was pretty decent when compared to the last two right now let's delete this image and uncomment this all and let's compare the output of the three algorithms used over here okay so there are initially four images raw images nothing changed we'll see three new images after the execution of this program right so let's see the execution and we'll see three images with three different um, varieties of exposures So here we have Drago, we have Reinhardt's and uh, the last one is Mentiox. So we have three new images when we have performed that and uh, let's see what are those outputs. This is Drago's. This looks the best out of the rest two. This is Mentiox and this is Reinhardt's. So Drago algorithm is pretty good. In producing images so if you are trying to use some HDR functionality in some of your applications use uh, the Dragos algorithm it is pretty decent and it, you will get some good output so this is the Dragos algorithm I prefer that and if you want to use uh, the different Reinhardt's or Mentiox it's up to you and uh, yeah, this was it. Let's delete this. And uh, this is the code for it, guys. 
if you have any questions or queries or any concerns regarding this code or documentation of it you can comment down below and uh, instead of using this images you can use your own images with different exposure levels and see out uh, what is the output of that right you'll get a better understanding when you use it with your own images right this is also a good example for uh, understanding the approach of HDR using OpenCV but try it out with your own images too right but it should be a similar image with different exposure levels right so guys this was it for this video if you have any questions do comment down below uh, this uh, okay so the documentation will be provided in the description it has an official documentation if you look into OpenCV if you google out OpenCV Python HDR you will get the first link you can click that and you can see the entire thing being performed but you you won't see the uh, rest two algorithms you can only see this one I don't know why but uh, over here you have three of them you can choose and uh, yep this was it for this video guys and uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more